A pleasant day to all. I am Josefina Celorico from the Material Science Division of the Industrial Technology Development Institute or ITDI, one of the Research Institute of the Department of Science and Technology. Today, I will be presenting the completed project on environmental health and safety research in the risk assessment of nanomaterials. This grant in aid project started in 2018 and was completed in 2021 with collaboration from both academic and government regulatory agencies as seen in this slide. The objectives of the project are as follows, to establish capability on the assessment of nanomaterials in terms of safety, to gather primary safety data for nanomaterials in the Philippines, and to review and assess the testing manuals on nanotechnology based on the existing international standards, ISO. Characteristics of 10 nanomaterials that are commercially available in the Philippines were determined in terms of their physical and chemical properties, which can influence the, influence the effects on biological systems. Furthermore, conventional toxicity and ecotoxicity tests were also conducted to evaluate the environmental and health hazards of nanomaterials. The unique properties of nanomaterials have enabled the applications of nanotechnology in various industrial and public sector leading to the rapid growth of nano-enabled products. This project was undertaken because of the following needs. Facilitate healthy development of nanotechnology, increase awareness of authorities, relevant stakeholders, and community, to control risks and make production safe for user and environment. These needs were addressed with the following solution, namely, identify the uncertainties and potential risks presented by nanotechnology, make sure clients know how to use nanomaterials safely, formulate a specific regulation for nanosafety management, resulting in the benefits of ensuring that the risk to human health and environment are minimal and safe and increasing the awareness of authorities, relevant stakeholders, and community. While the potential impact of the project are as follows, in science, engineering, and medicine, nanotechnology has the potential to impact all products now and in the future has the potential to change the way we live in environment to ensure that the risk to human health and the environment are minimal and safe in industry and government, to know the possible ad adverse health effects caused by exposure to nanomaterials. Our journey and accomplishment are presented in this slide.
forward is the Phase 2 project on nano safety to start next year entitled Risk Assessment and Safety Management of Locally Manufactured Nanomaterials that aims to conduct environmental, health, and safety research in the risk assessment of locally developed nanomaterials. Thank you for your attention.